this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your SMS marketing within Klaviyo for your Shopify brand. If you're wondering why you should listen to me, I run an email and SMS marketing agency and we are dedicated to serving e-com brands. Been doing it for many years. We've done multiple, multiple eight figures for our clients. Uh, and if you check my channel, there's like every tutorial under the sun that you can think of pertaining to e-com. Check it out. Anyways, the setup I'm going to show you is very much focused on like the 80 20 approach i'm going to show you like the minimum viable setup for maximum results when it comes to sms marketing because many brands under let's say like a million a year you just don't have enough leverage in order to actually hire someone like us to do your sms on the email side however it's a completely different story like incredibly high leverage if you're not doing email marketing or you feel like your email marketing could be improved you're probably booking a call with us Anyways, let's dive into it. In order of things I'm gonna cover, I'm gonna cover how to actually grow your SMS list through signup forms, then gonna demo like the basic flows that you actually need in order to generate a ton of revenue for yourself. And lastly, I'm gonna show you some cool stuff with like campaigns and actually how to set that up without pissing off your list and uh, having crazy churns. So first things first, how to actually grow a list because if you don't have a list, then you have no one to send to, right? So first things first, you're gonna wanna click sign up forms on the left-hand side and you wanna hit create sign up form. Once you're in here, you want to make sure to tick emails and numbers. Okay, super important that you do that because what happens is most brands, either they have an email capture up or they have an SMS capture and they kind of only have one or the other. The most effective way to actually do it is to have both as a two-step pop-up form. Okay, so the templates that we want to be using is either this one or this one. Now, obviously by default, they look kind of shit. If you actually want to learn how to actually design a good one for your brand, just go on my channel, search pop-up, and it's going to show you exactly how to design an aesthetic looking pop-up for your store. But for the sake of this video tutorial, I'm just going to select this one because it's like pretty easy to work with. Now, you're going to see email subscriber list and an SMS subscriber list make sure to connect it to the right list. Okay, so the email subscription list, don't just plug it to your newsletter because most of you guys will have that as your Shopify sync. You're gonna wanna create a dedicated list called something like uh, pop-up subscribers or whatever, right? And you're gonna wanna connect it to that one. So in this case, I'm just gonna type in a random list. Uh, SMS subscriber list, obviously it needs to go to that one and you're gonna wanna hit create full. Okay, once you are on this stage, you're gonna be able to customize like all of the aesthetics and that kind of stuff, but we're not gonna focus on that in this tutorial. Instead, we're just gonna go to the SMS part and I'm gonna show you exactly how to configure everything, okay? So this is what it's gonna look like on desktop. So if someone comes in with their laptop or whatever, this is what they're gonna see. They need to manually enter their number for them to subscribe. Whereas if they're on mobile, because it's already got their number linked, basically, you could just hit subscribe via SMS and they have a double opt-in. So if you click in this uh, button, you'll be able to customize like the different keywords. I would keep the keywords as join, but you can kind of like send a personalized message in the uh, confirmation message. So it'll be like, hey there, thanks for subscribing to our SMS pop-up. Please reply join to confirm your subscription and receive the 15% off discount or whatever, right? Another thing that's super important is you always want to have two different offers. So for example, when you're capturing emails on the front end, you might want to have, let's say a standard 10% off, but the SMS offer, and this is super important, it has to be greater than the email offer. Because what's going to happen is if you, if someone opts in to get the 10% off, they're going to receive the email straight away with their 10% off code. So the drop off rate and the incentive for subscribing to SMS drops immediately to zero. Okay. Super important that you do that. Once everything is configured, you're pretty much good to go. The only thing that's going to be left is if you're a first time SMS user, then what's going to happen is you're going to find like a little uh, bar here. Uh, like a little header bar that says something like you need to configure like your privacy and uh, terms and conditions. So these two pages pretty much, right? So just click configure and link it to your privacy and terms and conditions page on your website and add the clause to that page within Shopify saying, hey, uh, it's fine. Like Klaviyo will give you like the snippets to add so you can automatically generate it if it's not already included, okay? So once that's done, you're basically ready to hit publish and have it going. The next thing that you got to set up is your SMS subscription flow, 
Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to go into flows and you're going to want to hit create a flow and you always want to hit create a from scratch. Okay, so what it's going to look like is something like this. So if you create it from scratch, I'm just going to call this like demo. You can have a few selections for the trigger of the flow and how the flow will actually get started. So how you're going to want to do it is the flow trigger needs to be metric and it needs to be subscribed to SMS marketing. So you're just going to click here and you'll be able to select it, right? And then same thing with all of the other flows in terms of like behavioral segments, whatever, whatever. So this is what the flow actually looks like. The only flow filter you really need is placed order zero times in starting this flow. Once you have that set up and make sure, by the way, the list is connected to the SMS marketing list or subscribe to SMS marketing is actually fine. But basically you're going to want to have a conditional split based on placed order zero times overall time. Or for, so it basically spaces it out between new customers and returning customers. Because obviously, if it's a new customer, they can receive the standard 15%. And if it's a returning customer, you have two options. Either you don't give them the offer because you make it very clear on the pop-up that this is the first time subscribers only. Or you can just give them a slightly different variation of the code just in case they've used the code in the past, right? So the conditional split is basically you just drag this right here boom and then you configure it with what uh whatever this says which is what someone has or has not done placed order zero times overall time okay so once that's saved you can actually add your messaging so you drag in your sms blocks like this and you're going to see something very important which is by default smart sending and quiet hours are on you can see in the templates i have here they're turned off make sure you turn this off okay and you do that by just clicking on this little cogwheel boom click off, off and back. Okay. Super important that you do that because what's going to happen is if someone's up at like 2 AM and they got an ad from you and then they went on your website and they signed up, if quiet hours is on, they're not going to receive it. So smart sending basically will skip anyone that's received an SMS from you recently, which I mean, if you set it up with the subscribe to SMS marketing metric, it should actually be the case, but I just like to turn it off uh, in case, right? So subsequent SMSs, you want to wait at least one day before hitting them up again. And generally speaking with SMS, like you don't want to be following up that that much because there's like massive diminishing returns past like day four. Next flow you're going to want to set up is the abandoned checkout, right? So what that should look like in theory is basically you just trigger metric checkout started, boom, flow filters, placed order zero times since starting this flow and, and it's really important that you select the conditioner and, and not or, has not been in flow in the last 14 days, right? So let's say someone received it 10 days ago, you wouldn't send them the same messaging again, basically. That's all it is. So what you're going to do here is you're going to split it based on if someone is in SMS subscribers or not, right? So if they are, then you want to send the SMS messages. And if they're not, you're just going to want to send them the email, right? So what's going to happen here is you see smart sending on, this kind of makes sense to have, right? Quiet hours, you definitely don't actually want to keep this on. It's just that whenever you drag a SMS in here, it's like there by default. So I would take that off and you want to merge this with your abandoned checkout email series. The main thing is delays, right? So you can see it's wait one hour before sending the email. Here it's wait 45 minutes before sending the SMS and you want to configure the time delay to match this side as well, right? So instead of one hour, it'll actually be 15 minutes, okay? So that you kind of hit people up in quick succession. So that's pretty much sorted and you're going to want to have like the, the flow as normal pretty much. The way I would literally split it is just like SMS on the left, email on the right, okay? So once that's done, the next flow you're gonna wanna set up is the abandon click. So what happens here is if someone clicks on your SMS, the best time to actually hit them is like pronto because they just came off of your website from SMS click, right? So reminding them to complete their order is actually pretty effective. The only thing I'd be cautious of is here, I would actually have quiet hours on in case let's say they do it at like 10 p.m., right? And you're like messaging them with SMS to promote your product at midnight, right? So definitely keep quiet hours on for this. And I wouldn't recommend you have more than like one uh, to like, maximum maximum like three sms's for this flow right the only difference here is the trigger instead of being a metric it's the segment and the segment that i like to use is sms clicker last 45 right so what's going to happen is 
if I go into edit definitions, I'll show you exactly what I mean. So it's just what someone has or has not done clicked SMS at least once in the last 45 days. What's going to happen is if they haven't clicked the SMS in the last 45 days, they're going to be automatically exited out of this segment. So that means the most people can receive this flow is once every 45 days. And also they won't re-receive it again if they click on an SMS after you send this or if this SMS flow is the one that they actually clicked on. That's why we use segments, okay? So you, another thing that you can kind of do is uh, you can add an or condition, which is what someone has or has not done. And it's like clicked email. And that kind of merges with the abandoned click for email sequence as well. So these three are the most important flows and it's going to generate you a ton of revenue. On the campaign side of things, it's actually incredibly easy to set up. So in order to actually create a campaign, you just want to hit create campaign and you're gonna to wanna to name it however you wanna name it. But basically the important thing is you select SMS, right? You wanna hit save and continue. This is just one that I made earlier as like a demo. You wanna always be sending to like your entire list pretty much. So just select SMS subscribers. The reason why you wanna do that is because SMS historically has a very high churn rate and relative to your email list, it's gonna be incredibly small. So unless you're a brand that does like two, three, 400K a month or more, like you're probably not gonna have the leverage in your subscriber base for SMS to actually start segmenting. So I wouldn't fuck around with that too much. So just select all of your SMS subscribers. You can keep this on as well, that's fine. And once you're in messages, Note that the US and Canada messages look slightly different. You always want to like check both pretty much, right? So this is just some like generic copy that I generated as like a placeholder thing. But the important hit thing here is that whenever you send SMS, because SMS has like a one to 3% churn rate on your list, you want to make sure that this is a text actually that's worth receiving. So for example, the best times to send SMS campaigns is like when there's like a major sale, right? Because you can't really communicate brand USPs and all of this shit in like a text message with zero creative. You can actually insert media and pick like, pick, uh, add like gifts and stuff. However, it's going to be super expensive on your credits. And I generally do not recommend it unless number one, you're a big brand. And number two, you really know what you're doing with SMS because otherwise you might even lose money with SMS. That's how expensive it is, okay? So in terms of copy, you wanna keep it short and snappy. So you can see it's like 25% sale off on our necklace and bracelet chart bundle until Sunday midnight, right? Click here to start. So you can see this is just a straight offer CTA, offer CTA, right? By default, it's not gonna have a CTA, so make sure you copy your entire link and it's gonna shorten it for you. And you check the Canada and US previews before you save and continue and you're pretty much good to go. So yeah, from here you can schedule a send. Obviously I have zero recipients because this is like a demo account that I have. Uh, so ignore these, but normally it's gonna have like three green checks. And once that's done, then you're gonna wanna hit schedule or send. And in terms of sending frequency, generally for most brands, you can get away with like once a week max or once every other week is more of the ideal amount. The only time when you're gonna wanna be sending multiple times a week is during like Black Friday, Christmas, Thanksgiving, uh, Easter. All of the major holidays, like not the made up ones, right? Like fucking World Donut Day or something. I hope you found value in this video. If you want some free consulting from myself and you want to see like a vault of resources, I have a school community link in the description that you can join. Or if you're a brand that's doing 50K a month or more, just book in a call with us. I'd love to have a chat about email and SMS marketing for your brand.